Hello everyone, good evening, good afternoon. I greet you according to your time zone. Thank you very much to all our subscribers. Wow, <laughs> thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate May God bless you. All. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscription is actually free, so please try and subscribe. Click on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video. Today, we are going to be cutting a captain or a, a cut together gown. So I'm going to be showing you how to take the measurement. So if you want to take the measurement, you are going to be measuring both the shoulder and the sleeve, the length of your sleeve together. So this is how you are going to place your tape. You place it on at the starting of your uh, the neck down to your shoulder. Let's assume the shoulder is eight. You are going to add your sleeve measurement to it. So this is how you are going to measure it now. So I'll be making use of um, you can make use of 16, 15, 17, but I'll be making use of 16. So this is how you are going to measure yours. So once you fold it, you are folding 16 inches plus your 2 inches allowance. That's 18 inches. The 2 inches is for folding. So let's check what I have. I folded it into 4. So I have um, 18 inches plus my folding here, which is 2. So that's how you are going to fold it. So don't forget you are folding your fabric into 2. Into 2, meaning into four guys sorry into four not two so then i measure 1.5 for my shoulder slant or shoulder falling 1.5 now so you're going to measure i'm going to cut it out but before that i'm going to measure the length of my gown the length of the gown i'm working with is 14 inches plus two inches and uh, folding along one that's uh, 42 inches so you're going to measure your 42 inches all through like so that's how you are going to measure it so after measuring your 42 inches the next thing we are going to be measuring is our round sleeve measurement the round sleeve measurement that's what we are going to be measuring now or oh, let's measure the neck width first sorry i'm going to measure the neck width first so i'm making use of the neck width of three inches i don't know if you can see my tape but I made use of three inches. Then for the back neck depth, I made use of one inches. Then for the front neck uh, neck depth, I made use of um three point five. So we are going to connect it to the round neck. Then for our opening of the front, I made use of four inches. So I'm going I'm going to slant just the uh, opening straight. It's just a straight steering door. So the next thing we'll do now is to measure our arm, arm measurement. The arm measurement you can make use of now, you can make use of 10, depending on how wide you want it. So I make use of 9 inches. Then from shoulder to our waistline, I make use of um, 17 inches. Then from shoulder to our hip line, I make use of 25 inches. So after doing that, the next thing we are going to do now, we'll go over to the waistline. The waist I'm working with is 34 inches. 34 plus 8 inches, I have um, 42, 42 divided by 4, that's 10.5. So the 10.5 now, we are going to be inserting the 10.5, but we will still be adding extra 2 inches allowance. If you don't want it to be too big, you can add 1 inches, but I'm adding 2 inches to be on the safer side. So you are going to connect it now to meet with the ammo measurement like so. So you are going to curve it. I don't know if the shock is it's just that I didn't use the. Uh, I don't want the shock to be too much because it, the fabric it will stain it. So then you go over now to the waist, the hip line. You are going to add eight inches to your hip measurement, divide by four, plus extra two inches. You are going to add eight inches to your hip measurement, divide by four, plus two. Then that same thing that you got there on your hip line, you use it to mark the down. So that's how you are going to achieve this gown. So the next thing I'll do now is to cut it now. Then show you how it is now. So I'll be using this fabric now to put the pocket. Actually, the fabric is on sale. I don't know if you need it. You can just comment it down below. So I'll finish cutting it now. First of all, cut out the back. Don't forget the back is not um, the same with the front. So I just cut the same one inch. So I'll be removing the inside uh, the inner one so that i can cut out the place that the shock is where i mark the shock now so that's it now before you cut you cut the you see the way i cut that's how you're going to cut yours then before you cut the main run neck of the front 
then from there you open the front end tear in there so this is the cutting of our gown now you can see how easy it is it's very easy actually this video is made made for beginners those that are still learning that's why i always take my time to explain so what we are going to do is to cut turning for our neck it's just a small turning so i'm going to cut the turning and then show you how it is guys so i folded the little fabric that i'll be using for the turning it's just i told you before that it's just a little turning you can see i folded it the way i you can the way you fold your cloth if i want to measure shirt so then you place it on top then you cut it then if you want to cut the length ensure that you you from that opening you are two inches to the length of the opening so that it will be enough for you add two inches to the length of the opening you know the opening is for instead of the, you see the way i cut it out now so that's how you are going to cut yours so what you will do now is to place the front facing the front that's the front turning facing the front fabric use it to turn it to the rough side of the wrong side of your fabric so this is how we are going to do it now then i'm still going to be cutting turning for the back as well so after cutting the turning so this is the back now i told you it's just a little turning i've finished cutting it now so i'm going to take it now to my machine then sew it then turn it inside then i'll use my uh, interlocking machine to weave the rough edges so the other thing we'll do is to cut the pocket so the length of the pocket don't forget that the pocket is um is very long so i'll be using the mm -hmm. wideness of i'll be using the wide so i'll be using the wideness of 12 inches you can make use of um 14 inches depending on how wide you want your own to be i don't want mine to be too uh, wide then the length of um i will add plus my folding at the upper part i'll be i'll be making use of uh, 16 inches for the length so I'm going to cut the 16 inches now. Then after cutting it, I'm going to fold it. So that is it for the pocket now. So I'll show you how we are going to. I'll be showing you the video of how to fold it when I'm when I want to sew it. So this one is just for the cutting. So guys, we are finishing cutting the pocket now. So the next thing we will do. So guys, the I will be showing you the sewing part of the video. Stay tuned, guys. Bye.